Hey everybody, Brian with Easy Retriever Training and today we're gonna bring Lady out into the field and get her searching for antlers. Uh, we've progressed from the yard and now we're gonna bring her out here. We'll see how she does. Hey everybody, okay, so you saw kind of how we got Lady introduced to the yard. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check out the, uh, make sure you check out the video uh, where we introduced Lady to the antlers. Again, this is just a, kind of a reminder, this, this is something we've done in the past, but I'm just walking you through kind of how I got her used to it. Uh, so your dog may not take to this as quickly as Lady does uh, on the video, but trust me, when we first introduced her to it, it took, it took several repetitions. So uh, again, just a reminder, from the last video when we transition to a new place one of the things that we want to do is have as you know introduce as few and new things as possible so I'm still going to be using the toy uh, or the the retriever antler I've still got my antler uh, silhouette and somewhere and I've still got my uh, oh my rack wax so I'm gonna layer this on here uh, take the silhouette throw it out in the back just put the antler right at the base of the silhouette um, and then I'm gonna go get Lady, bring her out, let her go find it. Okay, so just one more thing. Um, as you're doing this and you're outside, make sure that your dog's going into the wind, that the, that the uh, shed is downwind of her, so just to take advantage of that rack wax. Um, she's rare to go, she knows that it's out there, she wants me to send her, um, sit, sit. And then whatever you're deciding, I, I think I said last time, I don't, I don't like the, the phrase find the bone because it sounds too much like find the bird. So I've chosen to use find the shed. Lady, find the shed. Good girl, come on, right here. Good girl, right here. Don't forget in part of your training to uh, include some denials, especially when they haven't uh, waited for your command to go get the retrieve. Um, and even when they have waited, it's not a bad idea. I, I think that you should still have some of those denials in there pretty regularly. Uh, lady, find the ship. Good girl. Right here. Which girl? All right, so we've moved it now. I've made it just a little bit farther for her. She still knows where it is. There's no surprise to her. Again, it's just this idea of introducing her to something new. Do this a couple more times, and then I'll put her in the truck, and uh, and then we'll start moving it away from away from the silhouette. Lady, find the shed. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Okay, sit. Come on, let's put the truck. Okay, now it's even farther out there. I've got Lady in the truck. It's it's over a little bit of a knoll. Um, so as she comes out because of her perspective and she's closer to the ground, she's not gonna be able to see the shed, but she'll be able to see the silhouette. Wait, find the shed. All right, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Find the ship. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, did so good, leave it. Good girl, okay, come on. Deal. 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 Find the one, find the shed, find the shed. Find the shed.
Good girl. Come on. That a girl. All right, so there we've done it two or three times. Each time she's kind of crept over and she started her run a little bit sooner over to the right. Now I'm going to throw it on the left. Find the shit. Find the shit, lady. Find the shit. Nope, she went straight through. All right, come on. Good girl. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do tonight is it's uh, getting time to go home and uh, be with my kids and stuff. I'm going to. Uh, She's now clearly used to the field. That's not new anymore. Uh, we've done several retrieves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a real antler. Um, again, I'm going to put I'm going to put wax racks on it uh, or rack wax because I want to make the transition from the play or from the the retrieving shed to an actual shed as easy as possible so by by making it smell the same. It's going to just it's going to make the connection uh, and connect the dots there in her mind. So I'm going to throw it on here on the bottom. Um, and again, I want this to smell 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times what a real antler is going to smell like. Uh, the test of the nose isn't yet. We'll do that later when we get out in the field. Um, right now, I just wanted to make a connection to everything we've been doing so far with this real antler. Uh, later on as we're going to go, I know you're noticing that I'm handling it with my hands. There's no question that when she gets out there, she's smelling a combination of, uh, of the wax whack or the rack wax. Um, the antler probably a lot of my hand. She's probably smelling my boots as she goes out there. Um, she, I, she's smelling all of it. And so as the training goes on, you're eventually going to remove some of that stuff and I'll show you in another video how to descent your your antlers so that you're ready then at the finishing stages of, of shed hunt training um, or shed dog training your dog is really smelling what she's going to be smelling out in the field so let me go place this out there and we'll see how she does with a real uh, with a real antler I'm not sure if you could see it in the video or not, but she got right out there and was moving her head around and she was looking for the other shed that we've been using, that, that play shed um, or the retrieving shed. Uh, it, she wandered around for a minute, then walked up and sniffed this one. And I, I mean, I, I can't guarantee it, but what I think was going on from what I saw, it looked like she got out there didn't see what she was looking for, started sniffing around, and it was the wax, wa the rax wax on this that keyed into, hey, look, and then she finally picked it up and brought it back. Um, so you see that th that's why it's important to make little changes. Uh, rather than just going from a yard and the and the play the play shed um, to coming out here into the into the field and throwing out a real antler, make those changes as small as possible. It it takes longer to train your dog. But when you get out in the field, those transitions will have been gradual enough that your dog will be a confident shed dog and she'll know what you're looking for. Uh, versus you'll get out there in the field and you'll watch your dog run right past sheds. And you'll, you'll be like, what's going on? Why is my dog not doing what we've been practicing? It's because you haven't really been practicing it. What you've been doing is practicing something else and hoping that in her mind she'll make the adjustment. So based on what I saw before I leave tonight, uh, I'm going to end the video, but I'm going to do this three or four more times so that she now is really confident and knows that this is what we're looking for. Hey everybody, so uh, it's the next day. We're just going to, I'm just a couple of purposes today. Um, you know, we're going to change it up a little bit. Notice I'm out of the hills. Um, I want to make one little tweak. I'm going to add a little bit of cover. But if you, if you can see where the, the antler is, 
I, the antler itself isn't in cover, but I'm gonna have Lady go through cover first to get to it. Um, the other point I just want to, to point out, notice my, my attire's a little different today. Um, just want to make the point that it doesn't take a lot of time to get your dog ready to hunt sheds. Um, way more important to do it regularly. 10, 15 minutes every single day is going to get you way further than taking an hour or hour and a half on a Saturday. Um, take advantage of the fact that your dog has, they, they really have relatively short attention spans. And so give them short bursts where they can focus and then let them go play. Um, so I'm going to send her through the cover. The other thing I'm going to do today is I've brought an extra silhouette. We're going to put two silhouettes out and for the first time introduce her to multiple uh, uh, to sheds. And so we'll put one, we'll put them at about 45 degree angles from each other. So one here, one over there. And then we'll just start walking towards the first one. When she comes back with that first shed, then I'm going to turn and start walking towards the other silhouette um, and let her catch a glimpse of it let her go find it and bring that antler back as well. So let me get her out of the truck. Sit. All right, find the shed. Find the shed. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so just like yesterday, I'm going to do the same thing. Now she's retrieved that several times. Now I'm going to replace the, uh, the toy shed with the real shed. Uh, let her retrieve that three or four times, and now when she's retrieving this, then we'll add the, the second silhouette. Right, find the shed. Find the shed. Good girl. All right, bring it back. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Not a girl. Find the shed, find the shed. Good girl. Good girl, bring it back. That a girl. Okay, so I've set two out now. Um, got that one there up close, about the same distance as the other one, but at a different angle. And then back further at about a 45 degree angle from the first one. I've got a second silhouette with a shed at its at the base of it. So, and watch, I'll send her to one and she'll go get that one, bring it back to me, and I'll immediately start walking towards the other and give her the command find the shed. Find the shed. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Bring it back. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Is that a girl? Good. Good girl. Good girl. Right here. Oh, God. Good girl. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now what I'll do to finish this session up is just like I did yesterday, I'll start moving them a little bit further away from the, the silhouette so that she has to go to the silhouettes and then search a little bit. I'll mix in a couple of different antlers. I'll still apply the antler wax to either the racks wax to each of them. Um, and we'll just finish up. I'll probably just be here another 10 or 15 minutes. Um, if that, let her get used to this and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up from here tomorrow next time when we'll get the sheds out into a little bit more cover where she's actually searching in the cover for them.